congratulations on winning the 2019 Pri uh, World Prize in Chemistry. We are Yael, Ranim, and Anna uh, from the Scientific Journal for Kids, Frontiers for Young Minds. We are very honored to meet you. We would like to ask you a few questions in to introduce your work to kids in Israel and all over the world. What made you become a chemist and did you even like science as a kid? Uh, I did like science as a kid. Uh, I liked science in school, but I, I wasn't really the kind of person who spent a lot of my free time in the basement with a chemistry kit or something like that. I, I enjoyed doing science, but I spent most of my time doing other things, my free time doing other things. I played sports, I played the trumpet. Um, yeah, that's how I spent my free time. Um, so I really uh, grew to love chemistry in, uh, in, when I went to college. So it was uh, taking a, my first year chemistry class and then the second year class in organic chemistry is when I really decided that's what I wanted to study and, and really enjoyed it. And I guess where I really um, then became to love chemistry and to do what you know, really set me on the path to what I do now is when I did research as an undergraduate for a couple of years in a laboratory. So it's really doing independent research in a laboratory that was where I really started to love it. Your research focuses on nitrogen, nitrogen bonds in organic compounds. Could you please explain it in simple terms so that kids can understand it? <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so I think you know the elements, carbon, nitrogen, uh, hydrogen, oxygen. So those are the elements that make up organic molecules. And organic molecules would be, I don't know, uh, you know, polyester and a shirt is an organic molecule, is a polymer. Um, but also many medicine, all, basically all medicines are, almost all medicines are organic molecules. So um, those, or the medicines often have a nitrogen atom in them, and that nitrogen atom is attached to a carbon through a carbon-nitrogen bond. And so we developed a type of chemical reaction that'll form that carbon-nitrogen bond. So you can take, you know, one group, one molecule that has the where the carbon would attach, another one with the nitrogen, and then the, the uh, catalyst actually makes the bond form. So you know, medicines and polymers and organic light emitting diodes that are on the cell phone, uh, the display in a cell phone have organic molecules that have carbon nitrogen bonds that get formed by the reactions we develop. We are also curious of what may be the practical impact of your development. I think there's been many, many you know, well, there are at least hundreds of uh, molecules that have been made that are uh, potential medicines um, that have either been tested, you know, at some part of the process to develop a drug. So they test them on a, on a, on a mouse first, or a, <laughs> right? and then eventually in people in a, in a clinical trial. Um, so um, many of the, you know, those molecules have been made by the reaction we developed. And again, like the I think people have also made these organic electronic materials that go into making these dis fancy displays for thin TVs and for self, you know, iPhone displays, the latest iPhone. Would you like to say something to the kids watching you today? Uh, sure, I guess you're asking about why I became a chemist. And I think sometimes when people think of scientists, they think, oh, that person must have, you know, always loved science and gotten A pluses in all their grades all the way through. and. Um, and like I said, I think, you know, I, I always enjoyed it and I was good at it in school, but I wasn't some superstar in college and chemistry, right? It was only when I started to work in the laboratory and so doing research and actually working in the lab and thinking of problems is very different than being in a classroom. So, um, yeah, so I think, um, you know, you find something that you really love to do, but you won't necessarily find it when you're 14 or 15 or know what it is, right? You may find it later on. Um, and, uh, and I think part of it, of the success that people have is because they're very interested in what they're doing. So they spend a lot of time thinking about it and can be creative because they're thinking a lot about the work that they do. Um, so at least that was the, the path that, that I followed. Thank you very much for being part in this uh, interview. And once again, congratulations in your world's good prize. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.